favourite segments we're bringing back for 2024. Greg Spence, he's our man, our money man. Brings us all the insights and wonderful stats for us to uh, just ponder for the week ahead. So, Isaac, run us through what we've got against Yay. the Melbourne Storm. So happy to have uh, the factoids from Greg Spence back. Thank you for all your hard work, by the way. Uh, first of all, the Warriors ran for over 500 more metres than the Sharks on Friday, but had only nine more post-contact metres. At 27.5%, the Warriors had the smallest ratio of post-contact metres to overall metres in the competition this past week. Wow. A lot of math. Somebody do the fractions. So that's, okay, that's, that's really interesting. It means just that we're, we're making a lot of ground, but we're not, not getting as many PCMs as we, uh, PCMs, is that a, um, that's a new oh, term, that's LCMs, we're I'm trademarking that, yeah. <laughs> I think PCMs taken. Is it? <laughs> Yeah, God damn. I think that's I think that's bloke as a bloke term, but yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, obviously with that glut of possession in the first twenty minutes, where we just keep hammering them, and obviously got a lot of repeat sets. But yeah, interesting that we're not man to man. I guess making that extra um, extra surge by uh, breaking um, post contact. I know what that means. It means one more leg day. That's what it means, guys. <laughs> Chucking another leg day every week. There you go. I think AFB probably made up about 400 of those metres himself. <laughs> the way he was just tearing through the line. <laughs> so, oh, Kennedy. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was good. Okay. Next, um, it's all about our old friend, I Want to Dance with Tomale. Um, with Tomale being unused off the bench, it's the fourth time in 28 games coaching the Warriors that Andrew Webster has chosen not to use a player uh, in his 17-man squad. Prior to his tenure, round three of 2019 was the last time a Warriors coach uh, had done that. So I think we all commented, right, about Tom Eileen not getting any game time and never going to dance again. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope he that? does. <laughs> it's an interesting one. You don't want to give game time for game time's sake. But and, and it clearly shows that they're a fit enough team and they've got guys that play bigger minutes. But I just think in the context of the game, maybe a fresh body would have been suffice. And maybe you didn't have to have Kate Well Sir Sir John, you know, carrying an injury, push push Barnett to the, the edge and had a fresh middle. I don't know. Mm. Um but hey, and we we trust. Um but if we didn't have Ali there and maybe you just had an X Factor player to kind of go, well, oh, 15, 15 minutes, chuck them out there. I don't know who that might be, but you know what I mean? Like, some teams carry that little bit of X factor that they might not use, so. Also, it just Let's keeps the uh, the bench players on edge. It's like, you know, if you get on the bench, you're not necessarily going to get some time, boys, so just make sure you uh, behave yourselves. <laughs> bench etiquette. <laughs> bench etiquette. But what if you see it again this weekend? Who knows? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Um, and last but not least, for those who thought RTS didn't live up to his ridiculously uh, high expectations, uh, you have to realise that, that not only was this, this his first game at centre ever in the NRL, but his previous three appearances in the NRL were at 5 8 wing, and then full-back. <laughs> so his last four games, he's been in four different positions. Mm. Uh, and they were two years ago. <laughs> and they were two years ago. <laughs> Exactly. So that is your expense account. Thank you, Greg. Awesome. Thanks very much, Greg. Expense. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well to Warriors Anonymous. Peace.